Hey guys, it's Kids Books by David, and today I'm going to read you pages 211 through 217 of Diary of Wumpy Kid, number one by Jeff Kenny. And the reason I say 211 through 217 is because 217 is an odd number. So if I do 211 through 215, I would only read two pages of 216 through 217. So let's get started. I knew they were going to make me do it, too. I started to panic because I knew I wasn't gonna, going to be able to fight my way out of this situation. So I did some fast talking instead. I would, but I'm allergic to dairy. And believe it or not, it actually worked. You're lucky, punk. I know, I know. I guess the teenagers were satisfied that they had, they had their, made their point because after they made Rowdy finish off the rest of the cheese, they let us go. They got back in their truck and took off down the road. Me and Rowdy walked home together but neither one of us really said anything on the way back. I thought about mentioning to Rowley that, that maybe he could, could have put out a couple of his karate moves back there, but something told me he, he, but something told me to hold off on that thought for right now. Tuesday. At school today, the teachers let us outside after lunch. It took about five seconds for someone to realize his cheese was missing from its spot on the laptop. Hey! Everybody crowded around to look at where the cheese used to be. Nobody could believe it was actually gone. People started coming up with these crazy theories about what happened to it. Somebody said that maybe the cheese grew legs and walked away. It took all my self-control to keep my mouth shut. And if Rowdy wasn't standing right there, I honestly don't know if I could have kept quiet. Mm. A couple of the guys who were arguing over what happened to the cheese were the same ones who were egging me and Rowley on yesterday afternoon. So I knew it wasn't going to be going to be long before someone put two and two together and figured that we must have had something to do with it. Rowley was starting to panic, and I don't blame him either. If the truth ever came out, ever came out about how the cheese disappeared, Rowley would be finished. He had to move out, move out of the state and maybe even the country. That's when I decided to speak up. I told everybody one, that that I knew what happened to the cheese. I said I was sick of it being on the blacktop, and I just decided to get rid of it once and for all. For a second there, everyone just froze. I thought people were going to start thanking me for what I did, but boy, I was wrong. I really wish I had worried my I had worded my story a little differently, because I threw away because I, if I threw away the cheese, guess what what that meant? It meant I have the cheese touch. Scream! Scream! June. Friday. Well, if Riley appreciated what I did for him last week, he said he hasn't said it. But we started hanging out after school again, so I guess that means me and him are back to normal. Diaper rash your head. Blah! I can honestly say that so far, having the cheese touch hasn't been all that bad. It got me out of doing the square dance unit in Fizet because no one will partner up with me. 
and I've had the whole lunch table to myself every day. Today was the last day of school, and today hand and they handed out yearbooks after eight period eighth period. I flipped to the class class favorites page, and here's the picture that was waiting for me. Class clown, Rowley Jefferson, Zoo we mama. All I can say is, if anyone wants a free yearbook, they can dig one out of the trash can in the back of the cafeteria. You know, Rowley can have class count for all, all I, for all I care. But if he ever gets too big for his britches, I'll just remind him that he was a guy who ate the cheese. That's all I'm going to read you today. And that's the end of Diary of Wumpy Kid number one. And I will be reading you Diary of Wumpy Kid. Roger rules pages one through five the next time the next time i make a video and so stay tuned for that and i will see you soon thanks for watching and thanks for supporting my channel don't forget to stay tuned for book number two of dire wumpy kid roger rules pages one through five by jeff kenny